Welcome, franchise professionals and franchise fans. I'm Max Million with this spot on snippet. I'm here today to discuss the values, motives, and fears of a belonger. And what would make a belonger an excellent franchisee within the right franchise concept? Maybe even your franchise. The belonger is conservative, conventional, fair minded, and a true blue friend. She's driven by a deeply held moral code. Her life is organized in large part around her home, family, and the social or religious organizations to which she belongs. Home and family represent security. It's everything she has worked for. She's a bit suspicious of new things, preferring things that are simple and practical. She is dependable, loyal, and focused on building long-term relationships. In the right franchise system, the belonger is a steady business builder. I don't know about you, but I can think of several people who sound like they might be belongers. Belongers want a franchise concept with historically proven systems that has credible management as well as strong support. They desire a business that is low risk and has a quick return on investment. A company with a family type atmosphere in an industry with stability would be a good fit. A high touch, low tech business that requires few employees is ideal. Maybe even a home based service business. The belonger is looking for a business that operates during normal business hours and provides tangible products and practical services. A business that involves their family and creates long term relationships with customers would be ideal. Franchisee franchisor compatibility comes from having shared values. Values dictate one's behavior. In fact, all decisions and behavior, including how we spend our time and money, are based on our values. Let's look at the values of a belonger family, security, team, fairness, responsibility, dependability, faith, loyalty, honesty, safety, consistency, relationship, commitment, pride. Courage. When considering buying a business, the belonger does have some concerns and fears. The belonger will avoid anything that will cause separation from loved ones or exclusion from groups or organizations she belongs to. She has a fear of being irresponsible or causing others to suffer due to her decisions or actions. She will never place her family in a position where they are financially insecure. The belonger's top priority is to protect and provide for the family. The belonger reminds me of my dad. He owned a construction company but never missed one of my baseball games when I was growing up. Solid. That's what my mom calls him. Let's look at the attributes that would make a belonger an excellent franchisee within the right concept. If your business requires an owner who can build long term relationships with employees and customers, the belonger will be a good fit. If your system encourages collaboration and the sharing of best practices, the belonger will be a good fit. Is your business in a stable industry, one which will be around for a long time? If so, the belonger would be a good fit. How important is compliance within your system? You can count on the belonger to comply, follow, and master your systems. Belongers will tackle any task that is required. What else could you ask for from a franchisee? If your business model is one that can be run during normal business hours, the belonger will be a good fit. They may not ramp up fast, but if you're looking for consistent growth, the belonger will be a good fit. If your company feels like one big family, the belonger will fit right in. Is the belonger your ideal franchisee? This spot on snippet is sponsored by Zoracle Profiles. Zoracle's spot on science predicts franchisee compatibility and performance. If you found this interesting, subscribe to my Max Million YouTube channel for other spot on snippets. You can also click on the link below to try Spot On Profile for yourself.